I'm Patrick Bailey with IQ List. Today is May 30th, 2022. And in this video, I'm going to assemble and show off the free Millennium Falcon from Fab 365. Okay, if you aren't familiar with Fab 365, you should be. They make some really great designs. Um, you gotta pay for some of them. They're, they're relatively cheap, but they're really neat because a lot of them are foldable. So they make some amazing designs. Like I bought several over the years. I bought a Gur robot, I bought a Jeep, I bought a tank. There's a lot of really cool thing, designs that all kind of fold in like an old school transformer from the 80s. He just, he's, whoever's doing all this stuff, they're just brilliant. They're, and also they give away some stuff for free. So here's a free model, which I've been meaning to print. I really want to print to bring to the homeschool conference just so it's a really something that'll attract people because everyone likes the Millennium Falcon, right? So here's a link to it right now. You can go, I think you need to sign up to go download it, but you know, big deal. You might get a newsletter, but they're pretty, I, I get some emails from them, but they're pretty nice. They're, 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 they make cool stuff. They make really cool stuff. Uh, so here's a link to this. So you can go down here and download all this fun stuff. Uh, also, one thing that I haven't done yet, but I will, uh, they do sell a stand for the Millennium Falcon. So I, they sell it for 350 to which me is kind of a tip almost for them doing this really cool design. So once I get this all assembled, I'm gonna go pay for this, order this, buy this stand, print it out, and bring it to the homeschool conference and kind of have it a nice, beautiful display. So that's my plan right now, but I haven't done it yet. Um, and then also over here, if you scroll down a little bit, they got all kinds of different videos showing them printing on different things. And there's one they print on a Prusa, and here it is. So I put a link in the show notes. And here they're like assembling it and going through all the steps exactly, showing you exactly how to do it, how it snaps together. It's really fun. So with that, um, there's the URLs. And with that, I have all the pieces parts all ready to go. And I may need to, I may need to refer to this video as I do it, but I am gonna go assemble it. And after we assemble it, then we'll go over the numbers. Well, I'll kind of go over some of the numbers. I didn't have enough time to go film this one, but at least we can do the weight and we can estimate what the rough cost of filming is for it. Okay, first a few issues I had when I was printing this. I had a lot of problems trying to print the little antenna on top. I had some times where it broke off or it didn't work really well. Eventually I got it, so I had to kind of do it alone. And I ran it a little slow, and then I was successful on that one. But that one was a little, the hardest piece I had, I had to repeat it a couple of times. <clears throat> and also at times I was trying to print a bunch of things at once, that didn't work out too well. Other parts that were a little difficult, uh, this one, make sure you put a brim on that, because that's kind of left like that. And this guy had a few issues. I had to reprint a couple of times because I didn't put a brim on it. You can kind of see how big and wide it is. But overall, that was the antenna was my biggest problem. These were not too big of a problem. Once I put brims on, life was good. So with that, let's see if we can assemble all this because I haven't done it yet. I just I watched the video. I have the video up in front of me again because I probably have to do it again. So um, I've never done this before. So this is an example of all the cool stuff he has that kind of folds out. So a lot of this stuff, if we watch some of his cool videos. Okay, he's got, so you can see this guy kind of breaks free. And it looks like he flips that up. And that kind of goes right in there. All right. All right. Oh, he's got it attached. And then he got this guy. Snaps in. Okay, we gotta break that free. Maybe. Okay. There we go. Okay. Cool, snapped in, okay. Same thing with these guys. <coughs> okay, come on. Work with me. Ah, there we go. One of those things that takes a while, I'm sure. <coughs> ah, I did it wrong. See, I, I did it wrong. I did it wrong to begin with. 
Oh, well, that came off, but I think I'm okay with it. Okay. See? Should have followed the video a little longer. These guys go up. Mmm. Those are blocking me. So those guys go up. And then they snap in. Ah, okay. And this guy, hopefully I can recover from this mistake. I think I can. Ah, there we go. I can. Okay. Snap. Oh, much better. Uh, let's get this side in then. Okay. Snap that in. There we go. Snap it all in. There we go. Okay. Took me a second. So we got all that fun stuff. Looking good. And then we got these big guys. Let's see. Eh. Got that in C. Okay, some of these, some of the parts he has marked. So here's part C. You see there's a C right there. And so he's got that. And he's got that. Oh, and we have the fuselage. The cabin, there we go. Okay. So take that. Oh, probably the other one. There we go. So this is part A. There we go, part A. And I think this goes in here. Ah, there we go. Snaps in. Very good. And I think we got part C behind there. That goes in. Ah, look at that. Kind of snaps in. And then we've got the top here. Ah. It says C there, C there, ah, C, there's a C and an A. How smart. Okay, so now, let's see how that just snaps in, I guess. Okay, so we gotta kinda, oops, snap it in. Sna oh, look at that. Oh, that feels a lot so more solid, nice. Okay, so now, same thing on the other side. Okay, cover. we put this guy in first by himself. And we got B, and we got B. Okay. And then we have D. And that kind of wedges in there. Oh, look at that. How clever. Well, this guy, these guys are pretty smart. Okay, so hey, it looks like we're almost halfway there. Wow, with the big pieces. Okay, now we got all the back. So, look, I got an F there. And there's an F there. All right. Match those up. Snap it in. I'll take it. And then we do the other side. Okay. We got an E and an E. Oh, look at that. And then we do the back piece here. It looks like it just snaps in. All right, so back piece here. Okay, there we go so far. And then we have, flip it over. Okay, we got this guy with the Fab 365 hidden. Okay, so we get that in there. Let's see, just kind of slap it in. Looks like it, okay. Oh, that's starting to get it held pretty good. That's not bad. Okay, so we got a few more end pieces to go. Okay, what do we got going on? Okay, we got little accent pieces over here. Oh, fun. 
Get all these little small pieces. Let's see, to help. I think that's to kind of help keep it in shape, right? I don't think, no, those are too big. So it's this little guy. And Okay, kind of goes in there. Jam it in, right? <coughs> okay, then we have these back guys that go in the back. <coughs> mm. Okay. One there, and one over here. Okay, so I got those pieces in. Not bad. Okay, now we got this guy, which would be, ah. Our little Fab 365, that's our, our gate, our, uh, our little ramp there. Let's see what we can do. How did he get that in there? I just kind of went sideways. Okay, so you can see there's, I don't know if you can see inside there really well. Okay, so it looks like he just kind of went sideways and kind of jammed it in. Maybe. There we go. Boom, boom. All right, we're in. Okay, what else we gotta go? More pieces, more pieces. Okay, we got a little piece up here. Oh, now we're just gonna have little pieces. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah, there we go. It's got a little angle to it. There's these three little rectangular piece, so this one's got an angle to it, so I'm pretty sure that goes up here. Oh, that looks like a piece you might have to glue in. Okay, well, maybe not. All right. Oh, these are just, uh, okay, that's one option. Okay, these are just an option, so we can You don't want to, if you want it in flight mode, right? Well, it matters where these go, they just have to get in. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, it looks like, oh, you know, I looks like we have a bunch of feet, which I can do, but I think I'll leave those off for now. But let's see. So let's leave the feet on. And let's see. There we go, antenna, that's what we want. Okay, we got the antenna parts, and we also have some gun parts for the lower piece. I'm gonna leave the legs alone for now. Okay, so we'll take this antenna, stick it on here. I 
zoom, okay. And then stick it right where it belongs, right there, right? Oh, nice. And it kind of swivels. That in. Yeah, it doesn't pop out. Okay. And then we have little guns. Oh, I lost the network. Okay, let's see. Ah. Ah, there we go. So I can attach this little gun, I think, right to this guy. Right. We got that. We got a little nub right there. I think I can fit them on. Although that, well, that looks like something you probably need to glue on. I think that's going to fall off. Oh, yeah. Look, there's probably a few pieces you need to glue on. But we'll leave that off for now. So, <clears throat> there's that. Ah. And there's one on the top, too, so you can put it on the top as well. But I think that needs to be glued on. Now, nice. I'm going to leave it like this because I want to go get the stand and have it in that little flight mode and figure out how to do that. So, I have all the other parts. Oh. That just fell out. So there's probably a couple. There's probably a couple of pieces that do need to be glued in. It looks like. But overall, that's pretty cool. For free, we'll take it. That, that's not too bad to assemble. So, uh, with that, we'll go over some of the, some of the numbers that I can figure out at least on weight. Okay, let's go over some stats as best as I can. I didn't film this one. Didn't have time, so I apologize for that. Um, but I think at some point, maybe after the conference, I'll make a, a big one. How big can I go on this guy on a Prusa i3 Mark III? Um, we'll see. So for now, we'll just kind of go by weight. So the weight of this guy is 0.312 kilograms, and at $20 per kilogram comes out to $6.24. And as we've seen in a lot of videos I've done, uh, electricity is very much a minor factor in this. So you're talking well under 7 bucks to get this guy printed. Uh, you throw that stand in there, which I have not tried yet. So you're probably talking all in, probably seven bucks when you get us when you if you buy a stand at this size and at the infill that I do. Uh, so not too bad. I think it's going to be a real cool one. I think if I bring it to the conference, I, I I'm going to use it as a demo. But I bet you someone's going to want to buy it. I don't know. I don't know. But it's going to be a demo for me. Um, but boy, next year, next year, it'd be nice to get one. Eh, maybe 50 60 percent bigger just so it really shows off so it looks cool i'm very happy uh and also check out fab 365 they do a bunch of other really cool designs they're they're great go look through their catalog there's just some things that you amaze that you can 3d print so there's a lot of things that i would still like to get there myself but i only have so much time and only so much money so uh with that let's end this with a reminder that uh, 3D printing is an engineering adventure that you're on. You can develop your skills and knowledge, and you can take this in so many ways. You can make a business out of this, like the Fab 365 guys have. Uh, you can teach others, and you can make some amazing designs, especially like the Fab 365 guys have. So design it, engineer it. I gave my money to Fab 365 for the Millennium Falcon stand. It's printing next to me as we speak. It'll take about 12 hours. I think next year I'll try to print a Falcon 50 to 100% larger than the default. At that size, I think it would be pretty eye-catching.